Morris Warriors is an artist development company, so they basically dedicate their time, their finances, to seeing the development of young, young musicians in the form of jazz music. I'm encouraging young female jazz musicians to come and play. Uh, we're leading those sessions. We've also formed a group from that, a smaller group, so that's getting us out there in the world. You can break away in jazz and do, do whatever you want. It's, it's freedom music, isn't it? Tomorrow's Warriors teaches you not just music, as in how to pass the next grade, but it teaches you valuable skills about leadership, working with other people, teaches you skills on how to interact with other people, how to get on with people. So these are skills that whatever field you go in, may it be music like a lot of us, may it be something completely different. These are still skills that you take for the rest of your life and that are essential to building as a, a person really. Matching their skills of the young people with um, stronger, older, more experienced musicians is really important because they'll see, uh, they'll learn a little bit about what it's like to be have a career in the music business and also they can get the wisdom of the older musicians. We were in a position where we were performing but we were also looking after the next generation who were going to come through and take over from us. You have to keep on progressing where it's really friendly, like it's also like a social grouping as well. The whole idea of sort of, you know, a community of musicians coming together and then out of that something happens and then a group forms and then you go out, you learn what you've got to do and you've got your peers and then you fly the nest and then you, you know, leave the space open. That's kind of the legacy of me as the first generation of, of, uh, of, of a Tomorrow's Warriors. I'd had that wealth of just seeing how the older musicians operated and how just learning from listening to them and learning how to play with other musicians in a jam environment. You have to allow people to discover the magic that is, that's within jazz. The magic is you know, that group interplay thing. One of our teachers, Nathaniel, says that you shouldn't be a bedroom musician, so you should always kind of go out and find people to play with, because then you'll develop. I've always hated the fact that media, the media seemed to dominate people's musicality, and the, there wasn't a lot of skill in the mainstream. So I thought, even though I would love to be a singer, I just don't want to be changed into something that the media wants instead of bringing my own individuality to the situation. And then when I found Tomorrow's Warriors and I found jazz, it sort of flicked everything on its head. Um, <sighs> there were so many people that are in it for the love of music. My drum teacher who had actually done Warriors several years back, you know, 10, 20 years back, he kind of pointed me in this direction and kind of said this is a place where you can learn and meet other musicians and from there I just turned up to the South Bank Centre and I was away. You know, the young musicians will tell their friends and say, yeah, come down, this is a really nice experience and it's really relaxed. All of my awards that I receive following that could not have happened really without that experience I had um, working with Tomorrow's Warriors. They've really nurtured me and given me so many opportunities. I'm indebted to them um, beyond my imagination, really. So if it wasn't for Tomorrow's Warriors, I don't think many people would be playing jazz in London like I don't think people would even know jazz in London.